Yo, what is up everybody? It is Chimso here. Welcome back to League of Legends today. Playing Singe in the top lane against Darius. This is a ranked game. Well, it was a ranked game. Um, I wanted to record it live, but unfortunately it seems like I was uh, recording in preview mode instead of actual recording mode. So I didn't get this game live. That's fine. I didn't commentate over it. I just recorded it. And yeah, League of Legends has a replay client, so whatever. I can show you it now. Uh, this is going to be a pretty quick game, as you can probably see by the time of this video. Um, now, the thing about this lane. Look at me and Darius. We both have Ghosts and Ignite. Now, the Ghosts, both having Ghosts is whatever. But both having Ignite is very, very important, okay? By both having Ignite, it's basically... Okay, I'll explain why I've taken Ignite first, though. That's probably a better idea. Basically, at the moment, with the way people are building Singe, with the way Singe is built, which is dark steel stacking early on to try and get kills in lane, and trying to play safe in lane and get those kills, it's actually worth it in most melee matchups to take Ignite. Ignite is a very, very good summoner spell to get those kills early, early game, to secure you those kills and help snowball the lane. The fact that Darius has it as well is interesting. It basically makes this a kill lane, okay? I'm a Singe, I have AP Glyphs, and I've got... Uh, Dark Seal start with Ignite. I want to kill something in lane. Darius is Darius. He wants to kill something in lane regardless. And with that Ignite, he definitely does. But the thing this basically does is, since neither of us have Teleport, whoever gets the first kill in lane has a huge advantage. Because they can get the kill, push in the wave, force their lane opponent to lose CS, and come back with a huge gold lead. So, whoever gets the first kill in this matchup is in a really good spot. And, <laughs> spoiler alert, it's not going to be Darius. So, I'm going to start off here just trying to freeze away, basically, not uh, push it out. I'm trying to make him push into tower so I can set up for a fling into tower a bit later on. Um, but something interesting is going to happen here that rarely happens to me in these lanes. Um, <laughs> you're going to see it very, very soon. But I'm going to capitalize on it immediately when it happens, and I'm just going to show on him quite heavily. So, there you go. Five creeps are died on my side. Six creeps are died on his side. Okay, so... There's level 2. Immediately when I hit level 2, I go in for him. He still needs to kill one more creep to get level 2. He gets it there, but I fling him away before he can, um... I believe it's his E. E me to do the extra auto attack damage. So, I got the better better trade there. Now, he's sticking around. Remember, I have Ignite and I have Ghost up. So, flings back off cooldown. Oh, I don't even need a Ghost, but flings back off cooldown. He Ghosts, I Ghost just to secure the kill. Ignite, Poison, and auto attacks finish him off. Very, very early kill here. Very, very nice for me. And of course, I... I've got mana left, so I can push this wave in fairly quickly. He has to recall and walk all the way back because he didn't take TP. And his ghost is down, which is beautiful for me. Beautiful setup. Our bot lane just got double killed, but fortunately Thresh took both the kills. That's fine. Uh, for once in my life, this isn't going to be a feeding bot lane. Singed hates feeding bot lanes. He can't carry them too well. Uh, but these guys are going to come back big time. The whole team plays pretty well, but I'm happy with how I, uh, how I do here as well. So... Go back, buy two Dark Seals. Don't buy my Corrupting Potion. Why? Because I want more AP. I've already got one kill on him in lane. I've got a significant gold advantage on him. He came back with nothing. He's still got his flask. With those two extra Dark Seals, I can kill him again. Absolutely. I probably don't even need my Ignite. And if I if I uh, upgraded my to my uh, Corrupting Potion there, it wouldn't have been a bad move. But I would have been less able to kill him because I have less AP. And besides, going that extra corrupting potion does give me extra healing not as much as going the corrupting potion uh sorry dark seal not as much as a corrupting potion would but still extra healing i walk in from the uh, lane area here i try to go for a fling on him but i don't get it unfortunately that's fine olaf is nearby i think maybe i can set something up with him doesn't look like it um he's got more creeps attacking my creeps so i'm just going to push the wave try and push the wave into him as hard as i can i don't want to be up here i don't want to be in this position because I can get ganked by Hecarim. I'm not particularly scared of a Hecarim gank because Hecarim is squishy and Singe love those, loves those squishy younglers unless they're Master Yi. Um, so a gank from Hecarim isn't really scary. I could probably kill both of them, honestly, with uh, three Dark Seals. But still, I don't want to risk it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang out in this bush here. I've got a... When I went back, I had enough gold to get two Dark Seals and a, um, a Vision Ward. Or what are they called? Control Ward. So I pop that in the bush in river. So with the um, bloody what's its face, uh, the rift scuttler and that, I've got good vision. Darius thinks that I've gone back because I hide in that bush for the longest time. So I'm able to get a lot of harass on him, take him down to half health, less than half health, taking him to a third. He's got some sustain, so he'll be able to heal it back up. 
But, yeah, he got chunked out pretty hard. That's what one, one fling will do for me at this point. So I, I do have to be careful about eating those decimates because I don't have any armor and eating those tower shots. Uh, I don't have any armor, so I do have to be a bit careful there. The uh, Risk Cutler's gone, so I don't have that vision anymore, but I still got that control ward there, which is nice. Eat another decimate, but I'm not scared of him killing me here because um, I, I, I'm confident I can get away, but I'm not going to risk it. Because if Hecarim came in here, I reckon I probably would die. Bot lane gets a double kill. Very, very nice on the Varus. I'm just going to go back for safety here. Might as well. Upgrade to my uh, Corrupting Potion there and pick up Boots so I can get back to lane a little bit faster. He places a ward down in River, right next to my Control Ward. See, look, look, look at the mini-map. See how he's hanging back. He's standing back because he's expecting me to be doing the same thing that I was doing before. But I'm not. I went back. Uh, so it, it, it scared him a little bit. It means he didn't go for that ward. He didn't take out my control ward in the river. Um, he just left his ward there. But now I'm back, so I'm going to. Um, I don't want. I'm not going to let him take this control ward. So I'm, I'm looking. If he goes down there to try and take it out, which he's going to do right now, I'm going to converge on him. And Olaf is right here as well. That's beautiful. Olaf uh, hits him with the undertow. I pop. Oh, and ghost. I want this kill. Hecarim comes in, whatever, I just want to secure the kill on Darius. I accidentally fling him over the wall, but that's fine. With Ignite, he's going to die. And there we go. The ward baits him in, and I take him out. And that there was because he was scared, like I said before. He was scared that I'd be doing the same thing I did before, hiding in that bush, waiting for him to walk up. So he didn't go for that control ward straight away. He went for it afterwards, and me and Olaf were able to gangbang him. That's actually something I just noticed in this replay. I didn't notice that in game. That's pretty cool. But yeah, he doesn't have teleport, so I'm just denying him CS here. Beautiful, he's on 24 CS, I'm on 47, and I have a kill and an assist. And he's not building any magic resist for some reason. At this point, Darius should be like, right, get my ass kicked, time to buy some magic resist to do with this singe. No, <laughs> doesn't buy magic resist. Why, w why would you not do that? Um, you know, Singe and Ari, I mean, maybe he's thinking like Ari 2 she's not a threat, but Singe definitely is. Make sure you buy that fucking uh, magic resist against Singe if he's kicking your ass, because he'll continue to kick your ass. Uh, but yeah, it wouldn't help him all that much. I mean, it would help him definitely, but I do have um, hybrid penetration marked, so I've got a bit of um, leth uh, lethality and a bit of um, magic pen as well. That lethality is just ridiculous. Fucking hell. Um, but hybrid pen, I do have um, a little bit of magic resist, a little bit of armor pen, which helps my auto attacks hurt a little bit more, especially in the early game here. And I've actually gone Swifties this game, because Zera's stun, I mean, yeah, sure, Thresher's got stuns, but I can't really deny them. Zera's stun's the only real hard CC here, so I want to go, and I'm just... Zerus is a bit... he goes too far out, so I do him, slow him down, land him in the goo. Okay, Hecarim's coming. At this point, my fling is down, I'm going to run through the tower here. That's the best way to go. I reckon I'll take too much damage. I wait in the bush, wait in the bush. They don't have a side of me, run out, kill Darius. They didn't have any wards in that bush. I was hoping they didn't, they didn't, so they both ran in blindly, I waited instead of running uh, running further, and I just flung Darius and killed him. What I could have done there actually, if I wanted to get away probably, and <laughs> yeah here I actually, <laughs> I hide there, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to bait him out because I, I saw him on the ward. Which way is he going to come, which way is he going to come, I'll, I'll take my chances recalling in the bush, I'm gone. Uh, but yeah, what I could have done there was it ran away and just hit the uh, exploding plant and jumped over the wall, but yeah, I got the kill on Darius and got away. That's perfect. Uh, but yeah, basically I want the um, stiffness boots for Thresh slows and... Um, Dar yeah, Darius has a slow when he when he pulls, doesn't he? So yeah, basically just the slows on their team and the fucking gin traps. So I think it's just the better option. Go back, I pick up a uh, ruby crystal right there. I'm building into my Righteous Glory straight away. I want to be very, very offensive, so I'm going for that Righteous Glory so that I can just jump on people. Righteous Glory, I mean, good barn singe in general. Uh, this is a risky fling. I go for a fling. I take a lot of damage, and then I also get um, pulled into the tower. So that wasn't very, very smart. We both pop Ghost. Okay, I survived that, which is good. I pop all three of my flash charges, so I reckon I can stay in lane. Yeah, that was a bit greedy, but I'm going to go back in. He's going to stick around. Fling. I'm going to kill him anyways. I'll take that. Um... <sighs> I mean, technically in this game it's worth it because it resets his gold value. <laughs> but in general, that's not really worth it because it gives him a bit of a shutdown bonus, I believe. Two kills does give a shutdown bonus now. A little bit of gold. So not technically worth it, but it's going to be mega worth it for me because it resets his gold value. <laughs> so 
Um, yeah, I'm going to kill him a bunch more times and get the full value, which is nice. Yep, go back, got Catalyst. Uh, as I was saying, Righteous Glory, good item against a Darius early on, because it gets you health, true damage, negates the Zolt. Very, very nice. <coughs> Probably wasn't worth it, actually, because um, I lost Dark Seal stacks, which sucks, but... Whatever, demoralize him more and more. That's nice. And he's building a Phage. What is he doing? He's building Black Cleaver, I think. Not be... Hex Shrinker! Be with a fucking Hex Shrinker. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm double his CS, and I've got three kills on him. So, this lane is done. Just, it's all about how I can transition it into the mid game, but it's not even going to be about that, really. My team is so powerful. I just want you to see how I'm controlling this Darius in the game. You do so much damage early on with that Deathfire touch and those Dark Seals and the penetration, and the AP from your glyphs. This is so much damage. Now here, I go in. I, this tower dive was not meant to kill him with one tower dive. I go in. This is what I, I, I've talked about, the little dance was singed. Here, unfortunately, I make a mistake. My flask is still ticking on him. The extra damage from flask is still ticking. Okay. <sighs> Basically, what happened there was I was going to go back and wait. I was going to wait for my fling to come back. I'd proxy a wave, wait for my fling to come back. All good, then I'd go back in. Unfortunately, I went back in too early. My flask, the extra damage that triggers from my flask being active, still was on him. So I took tower aggro from that damage. That gets me all the time. I took tower aggro from that damage, and the tower was tanking the whole second time I went in, not just after I flung him. So he was able to almost kill me there, but fortunately, Ignite saves a day. Again, I'm able to kill him before he does enough damage to take me out, and I'm able to just barely, barely escape. And he wasn't too happy about that in chat. But yeah, that was that was risky. Could have been played a lot better if I just waited for that bloody um the bloody effect from the flask to go away, but I always get caught off by that shit, it's really annoying. Heading back to lane, I'm basically gonna keep applying the pressure. I don't have teleport, so I can't make cross map plays. I have to just keep pressuring this lane, try and get that tower down. First tower hasn't gone down yet. I want it to be top lane tower to get that gold for my team. Be a team player. Awesome. So I'm going to just push this shit down and try and get it in there as soon as possible. Ult's almost back up and I want to basically do the same thing to him if I can't get the tower down. Go in once, fling. Um, if I can't do enough damage to him and kill him in that one tower dive, which if he's at full health I won't. Here again, you see the, the flames on him, the purple flames on him. It's still ticking from the flask. So I, I take tower I go again there. Uh, yeah, basically go in, fling him. Do a combo, run out, wait for my fling to come back on cooldown, my ult will still be running, run back in, fling him again, ignite, hopefully kill him. Don't have ignite this time, but I'm going to go for it here again anyways. He pulls me in, fortunately I've got swiftness boots, so I can recover from that quite quickly. And hit once again, the fucking potion is still ticking. So i got to wait a little bit, then I pop ghost here, and boom, take him out. Yeah, I'm going to die. That's unfortunate, he had ignite up, so I'm going to go down. I, like I said, if I hadn't taken those extra tower shots, I probably wouldn't have died there. Corrupting, it probably would have been better if I didn't even buy Corrupting Potion in this game, because I think it's gotten me killed twice, because of my own stupidity there. That's not good. Oh well, but fortunately team is going to get Dragon, and Darius is still being kept down. I'm double his farm, and I've got three more kills than him, so those two kills don't really matter all that much. We secure the Dragon, very nice. Just an Ocean Drake, but hey, it does help. Getting an Infernal Drake here would have been very, very nice for me. But no dice. And uh, yeah, head back to lane. So, I'm going to build a Ranguin's Omen this game because Jin. I mean, if there's a Jin in the game, you basically want a Ranguin's Omen. Um, his crits will fuck you up super hard. So, build that Ranguin's, negate that damage against him. And besides, you know, with the builds these days with the Thalali and Yomus and all that, Hecarim would probably get a little bit of crit as well. And maybe even Darius if he decides to build those items. So it's not a bad buy in this situation. But basically, if the enemy if the enemy team has a lot of crit, you want to build Ranguins. If the enemy team doesn't have a lot of crit, it's better to go for the um, Dead Man's Plate in most cases. Unless you need the slow. So I know that Darius just cleared out my control ward, which means he has to go around in order to get back to his tower. Because if he goes through lane, I'll just fight him. So I can get some harass off on him here. Unfortunately, he slows me down, so I'm not able to get the goo. I'm being ganked by two people here. I didn't have my poison on there, so I actually didn't do as much damage as I should have. I go back in for the Hecarim, though. Um, you got the poison on him again. I'm going to auto-attack him down, ignite him. He, he's dead. He's gone. Going to go after the Darius again, try and land a goo flip on him here. Get it. Beautiful, but I'm not going to sit there fighting him. I'm just going to grab the tail. Much better. 
it won't be the first tower. Bot lane took down their tower first, but I'd rather get the tower than probably not kill Darius as he runs back to tower. I think he had enough health to survive me there, so grab the tower, whatever. Play it safe, play the objective, and carry on. So yeah, gank spank took out Hecram. At this point, Hecram doesn't want to gank me at all, I'm pretty sure. And look at this, the blue buff is up, beautiful. So I'm going to take the blue buff as well. Deny that from Hecram's jungle. Snowball my lead here. At this point, I haven't left top lane. But I've drawn jungler attention, and I basically negated Darius's effect on the game. He doesn't have teleport, and he's not making use of the ignite, so he's basically useless to his team right now. So it's, I'm doing a pretty good job here. Going to go back, and what do I have enough gold to buy now? We'll have to see. I'm probably just going to get some armor. Yep, pick up that um, Warden's Mail, is it? I don't know, Warden's Mail. Uh, we'll just call it that. Pick up that, pick up the Giant's Belt. Sell, uh, I've sold two of my Dark Seals now. I mean, uh, I would have liked the AP from them, but at this point, I want to transition into mid-game. I want some tank. So I'm going for, I'm just going to sell them and grab those. And keep the, um, keep the Corrupting Potion, because that will be effectively with a Dark Seal, 400 plus health. Uh, for me, so you want to keep that. You want to keep that as long as you can. Um, you only want to sell it if you're, you need an item slot to buy something important. Um, apart from that, like, don't sell it to buy a cloth armor. It's worth more than a cloth armor. Anyways, team's fighting down there. I'm noticing the enemy team's moving down. I'm going to pop Ghost to get down there as soon as possible. Don't catch Hecarim. That's unfortunate. My team is going to push the tower, though. So I'm going to go in behind the enemy team. I've got ult up. I don't give a fuck. Going to pop ult. Going to run in. Righteous Glory. Fling Darius didn't need to, to goof flip him there. I tried, but he just died to one fling. That's beautiful. And I'm going to push in on a tower at 17 minutes here on an inhibitor tower. And we're going to get this, and I'm pretty sure we're going to get the inhibitor as well. But then we're going to back off. Smart team this game. Not retards. They recognize, like, okay, whatever. Take the hook, doesn't matter. I'll survive. We take the inhibitor, and every, yeah, everyone just pings. Get the fuck out of there. Let's go. Uh, we're done. We've got what we came for. Let's run. I don't know what Varus is doing. He should run. But that's fine. We're all good. We made it out. We got what we came for. Doing very, very well here. Gonna head back. Hopefully finish on my Rangerans here. Yep, there it is. Beautiful. And now I'm building into Leandris. Why am I building into Leandris? Because I'm fed and we have momentum. Uh, technically, I don't need it right now. Going going like a Thorn now here or a Zorot portal even would have been a perfectly good buy. I decided to go for Leandris here because I'm like, right, we're snowballing the fuck out of the enemy team. I'm doing a shit ton of damage. If I can do even more damage in this team fight, I don't think I need tank. I'm not really dying right now. So I, I reckon I can risk a Leandris um, third item here. Normally I'll try and get it fourth most times, but third item here, I, I consider it to be an okay buy because we're just so far ahead at the moment. I mean... <laughs> A Leandri's third item would be good if the enemy team was building tanky early on. If Darius did have that um, Hex Shrinker, if Hecarim had some MR, if fucking Jin had some MR, if Xerath had an MR AP item, then maybe, yeah, I would have gone like, hmm, Leandri's third item might not be a bad idea. But, I mean, in general, it's better to get as a fourth item, in my opinion, unless you're snowballing super hard. Um, yeah, good luck with this. Uh, I'm not going to die. I don't even think I popped ult yet. I don't have a... No, I do have it up. Okay, I'm going to pop ult now. There we go. And I'm just... Yeah. Going to tank the whole enemy team. Whatever. Uh, got to run back into the Janna heal because I want it. Uh, Darius ignites me there, but fortunately I take the hilt of the Decimate. So I don't take the full damage and I get a Janna shield. Don't think I needed a Janna shield. I reckon I still would have survived with my regen. But yeah, whatever. We just wipe them out. <laughs> Absolutely murder them. Um, they tried. I mean... Got to give them points for that. It's not bad, but they're just not getting anywhere. I think the biggest failing of this enemy team is they're not going any tank at all. Darius is only now building some MR. Hecarim rushed a Ghost Blade. Um, I mean, Thresh and Jin and Xerath is fine, but their two tanks have got no tank. <laughs> Meanwhile, Olaf, Rangerman's Omen, uh, Juggernaut. Oh, Cinderhulk. Me. Fucking Rangerman's Omen. Uh, Righteous Glory, that Corrupting Potion, and uh, fucking Varus has got an Edge of Night, I believe. There you go. Uh, Lethality OP. We have a lot of tank on our team. They just got damage. But we've got more damage with our tank, so we're winning. Um, yeah, the failing of this enemy team is they, they haven't built defensive at all. They're all just trying to go offensive, and it's not working for them at all. They're failing super hard. I reckon if they had gone a bit of tank earlier on, 
they would have been a lot better off. But now, it's too late. We snowballed out of control, basically. Gonna take that dragon. I believe that was a... Uh, Windrake? That's nice. Out of combat movement speed. It's always cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a Windrake. So, yeah. Uh, best dragon is obviously um, Infernal Drake. But having the other dragons is okay, but it's all about risk, you know. Gotta think to yourself. The enemy team is gonna take this dragon. What dragon is it? Oh, a Windrake? Whatever, we can live without it. Oh, an Infernal Drake? We want that. We'll fight for it. So, it's a sort of risk thing. Here... I'm just gonna run straight in and go for Darius, whatever. I pop ult, Righteous Glory, and go. So I probably have like 800 movement speed right there. And yeah, just going to, um... Here, I, I, I forget that I'm tanking the tower. <laughs> just singe things. I don't even notice until like now. I'm like, oh shit, I'm tanking the tower. <laughs> Better get out of there. Um, yeah, so just go in. I almost killed Darius, force him back. Thresh gets picked off. I'm pretty sure Xerath dies to the ignite there. Maybe not. Uh, Ari's gonna block it for you, whatever. We're, we're just gonna win that one. So yeah, that was a um, pretty solid game right there. Decimated that Darius in lane. <laughs> Decimated. That should be the title of this video. Decimating Darius. Okay, took out Darius pretty hard in lane. Basically managed to control him. Like I told, uh, like I said at the start, that Ignite Gambit. Whoever gets the first kill on a double Ignite lane is at a big advantage. I got that first kill. I was able to snowball it stu uh, super hard. Darius was stupid, didn't buy any early MR, tried to rush that Black Cleaver when he should have gotten a Hex Shrinker or a Spectre's Cow or whatever, just any MR. Hell, rushing a Spirit Visage probably wouldn't even be a bad idea. But no, he didn't. He was greedy, he went for damage, didn't go anywhere. Hecarim, same thing. Rush that Ghost Blade, didn't go for any tank, and they just got creamed. So yeah, that's a little bit of a lesson in itemization for you. Same thing can be said for Singed, knowing when to go tank, knowing when to go damage, but that's something you just have to learn with time. And, you know... It's something you have to learn every couple of months, because Singe builds always change depending on what's nerfed. Praying for a Courage of the Colossus boss again, but you never know. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching this one. I'll see you on the weekend for more Dark Souls. And, uh, yeah, take care. Peace out.